welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another Photoshop Element 6 video tutorial. I've received quite a few emails lately asking me, Jack, how would you make a logo or build text um, just using the editor without using a picture as a background or anything else? We're just going to use the editor and today we're going to create a logo. You may want to do this for either a brochure, uh, maybe your website, you want to create some kind of custom logo for your website. So I guess that's kind of where we'll start today. So when you're looking at Photoshop Element 6 Editor, you want to create a new file. So go to File New, and we're creating a blank file. That's kind of what uh, Photoshop refers to, I guess we could say, our canvas. Now we can give us a title, we'll call it Logo. You can call it whatever you wish. And the height and width, these are something you have to kind of get a feel for adjusting. The height is 4 inches. Let's take that down to 2 inches high, and we'll make it 8 inches wide. We'll give it a width of 800. The background color, I always like to start out as a transparent background. Because if it's white, most likely we're going to change it anyway. So let's just make it a transparent background, and click OK. Now you can see already we have a file here that looks like a logo, right? You'll see this at the top of a web page. Maybe you're doing a magazine publication and you wish to do this. Now we have to go ahead and put some text on this. We have to add something to this. Now, the first thing we'll go ahead and do is just go over and click on text. You can see that's layer one. That's going to be your background layer. So we'll click on text and we're going to just go up here and we're going to put in some text. We'll just start typing. And remember folks, you can use layers. You can do layers a letter at a time, a word at a time, or a whole sentence at a time. I'm going to do a word at a time. It just seems to be a little quicker for me. And I'm just going to put in there Jax. We can see Jax right there. Click on that layer. And we can go up here and we can change the font if you double click on that. Make the font whatever you want it to look like. Let's do something like that. And you can also change the font size. But I'm going to show you an easier way than changing the font size here to actually work with the text and kind of build it the way we want it. So that's our first word, Jax. We're going to duplicate this background layer out. Now, Let's go ahead and create another word. And this will be my second word. Jack's Tech. And then we'll create our last word. Let's see what that font was on that first word. All right, let's create the last word. Corner. All right, Jack's Tech Corner. Now, that doesn't look like much because we can see that it's not going to appear to be much because it's not big enough and it doesn't really fit uh, what we have laid out here. So now we have to go ahead and move these words around a little bit. And as we click on the layer, you can click on your move tool and we can just click on the word and move it. Move out here. Click on this word. Move it here and click on this word and we're going to move it right there. Now this one right here you see we made a background of that so we're going to have to delete one of these. We're going to just delete this one. Then we'll go ahead and move this over. Okay so much for that. Now we want to size and shape these a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer. So first click on the jacks and we go up under image, resize, and then we'll go to scale. What this allows you to do is actually pull these little handles out and scale your words so they're bigger. You can stretch them out, pull them down, pull it to the left, and you can see how it's going to make it bigger. And then let's place that where we want it and click the little checkbox. Now you're going to do the same if you go over here and click on tech. We can do the same thing with tech. Image, 
resize and scale. Let's scale that up a little bit. Let's scale it down. Pull it out. And we'll just move this over a little bit. Click the checkbox. And then let's click corner. That's the last one here. Image. We're going to resize, scale it. And we're going to pull this one out. Same way. Just pull this out here. And we'll make it a little bigger. And the whole time you're trying not to distort your words. You don't want to distort them too much where nobody can really see what they are. And click OK. Now with that said, we want to create a new layer. And the reason this new layer is this new layer is going to become our background layer. That we can change the colors and do what we want to do with it. So you have your text laid out. We're going to go ahead and change this background. And everybody watching this knows that I really like the gradient tools. Uh, let's try to give me something here that's going to look kind of nice with the color I've already chosen. Let's do something like this. And then just pull that gradient across your transparent layer. Wow, look what happened though. We ended up covering up our letters. Now be very careful when you're working with layers, folks, because you can see over here on the right, I'm going to try to open up my layer palette a little bit more here so we can see it a little bit better, is this layer is on top. And think of layers as paper. Just grab this layer, left click on it, and pull it down to the bottom and leave it go. Now you can see here that that background became the background. It's, it's in the back because it's on the bottom of our other sheets of paper. Now with that said, we can go in and work on each set of text. And I know I've showed this to you before. If you add, you want to add some bevels to it. So let's go up here. And if I can find them. Here we go. We're going to look at bevels. Now when we add a bevel to that layer, watch what happens. We end up down here with a layer style. Now folks, if you want to work on these all at the same time, all we have to do is, I'm going to unapply that, click on your layer, your first text, hold your shift key down, click on the last text. Now let's try to do that same thing. Grab that bevel, pull it over and drop it. Now you can see what happens, it actually changes them all. Let's look at that again. Let's click on all of them and highlight them. Let's pick a better bevel here we can see. Well, I don't think it's going to do it, folks. Let's see. No. I was hoping to save you a little bit of time here. So we just did them all, and we did them all individually. And then if you click on this, this is where, remember, you can work on your text and your bevels. We can raise our bevel up on that jacks. If you see it, they're going up and down. We can add a drop shadow. And what I really like is the glows. We can add a little bit of inner glow or outer glow. Lower the opacity down a little bit. And then click OK. So that's about it, folks. I'm um, dealing with the time limits here. But um, just work on each one. Just click on each one and double click the FX here. So you can actually add your drop shadows, add your glow, little outer glow. Set The presets are going to stay pretty much where you had them. Bevel it up a little bit more if you want. Pull it up off the page. You can even change your lighting angle a little bit. So we change our lighting angle on that background. Okay, click OK. And then do the same thing on the last one. All right, folks, well, that's how you do that. And then you just save it out. A lot of people say I never finish these segments up. Click Save As. We'll go into My Pictures. We'll create a folder called Logo. Cat Blocks Keys on. And to keep all your layers, save it as a PSD file. It's going to save that. Then let's do File. We're going to do Save As one more time. It's called logo again. But this time, save it as a JPEG file so you can use it elsewhere. 
and large file size. And that's it, folks. Well, I hope you learned something today. Uh, thanks to everybody for subscribing to the uh, the shows. And if you're not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and stick around. And as I post new shows, then you'll be notified. Until next time, keep clicking, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye for now.